Hi, this is Mark Richards with Infolink Consulting, and today I'm going to show you how we add an aggregation into our existing mapping uh, to output to two separate tables at the same time. Um, now, I've already added in here a definition for an existing table called Ag Salaries, which I'm going to pull in here as a right. So we can see here it's got an entity, total salary, average salary, and number of employees. So what I need to pull this in is an aggregate transformation or an aggregator. So I'm going to pull that in here and I'm going to call this ag salaries. And I am going to pull in the entity and the annual salary from this sort routine. And let's click on this and take a look at the ports. So my entity and then we can see here from my aggregate table everything is rolled up by entity. In other words, everything's rolled up by business. So I am simply going to group by that entity. The annual salary, I'm going to make this an input only. So I'm just going to take that output off. And I'm going to create a new column here. Out annual salary. Going to make it an integer. And going to make it an output port. And watch the dance here as I take off input. So it's an output only, which means I have to define what goes into it. And I'm simply going to make this sum of uh, the annual salary. Validate expressions valid. Click OK. And I'm going to create a new column here. And it's going to be out num employees. Also going to be integer. And it's just an output column. And this is simply uh, a record count. As you recall, the employee ID is um, a unique field. So we have one record per employee, so a count of those employees is going to give me my number of employees. Okay, so now I can start hooking these up. I can take entity and I can just simply drag it across here. My annual salary, total salary, my number of employees becomes the number of employees. I have one field left to, to calculate here, an average salary. Uh, to do that, I'm going to pull an expression in and I'm going to call this expression average salary and I'm going to send out to this as well as sending it to my right table I'm going to send my number of employees my annual salary down here and I'm going to rename these to be inputs always good to keep your naming convention and again I'm going to take a look at the ports they're not going to be outputs they're just going to be inputs I am going to have an out average salary it's going to be an integer and again, let's go through the dance, make it an output. And my calculation is simply going to be uh, the pre-aggregated annual salary divided by the pre-aggregated number of employees. Validated looks good. Um, and remember, this is an expression. This is a passive expression. I'm not changing the number of records here. So I can simply send that along. And now I've hooked up all of those ports. Uh, let's make these icons. And let me arrange these to a grid. And if I run this, I'm now going to write to two separate tables at the same time. Thank you. In the next demo, we are going to look into ways of bringing mappings together and creating workflows.